Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new hyperdimensional co-op and how you can get your hands on some pretty cool rewards, obviously including the Fierce Fight Z Power for the good old Demon King Piccolo. So as part of the Dragon Ball celebration, there is the new Z Power basically that you can farm for Fierce Fight Piccolo, much akin to Android 18 and some of the previous Fierce Fights. Uh, you can now farm it from the hyperdimensional co-op. There will be full power battles and things that come out later, but basically you can, in theory, uh, farm him completely just by doing this event. You don't even have to do his fierce fight. So, pretty good stuff. Obviously, there are some characters that will boost the Z power drop rate, those being Android 18 from the fierce fight event herself. There's also a really, really good reward in the form of the episode medals for the Dragon Ball Saga, which can get you a Legends Limited Z Power. And of course, a new Platinum Equip for DB Saga units, which is also really, really good. The advantageous elements are purple and blue, and the advantageous categories are Goku's Family and Kid. Please bear in mind, guys, that when you are building uh, your units, and I'm going to show you guys something. Just because the unit has a spark next to it doesn't mean it's the number one choice. You want to match both the battle bonus boost with typing. This is what's really going to make the event go a lot smoother for you. Uh, I'm going to do you know, the battle bonus or the boost with two units and not the wrong typing. And basically what's going to happen is, is essentially I'm going to be you know, showing you guys that this is not going to end up in resulting in us winning. Uh, we're going to, you know, not get the victory on the Rising Rush, and that's because uh, of the typings. Outside of this, there is also exchange rewards, of course, as always, uh, for hyperdimensional carp. Um, you can grab yourself some Chrono Crystals, some of the old Platinum equipment, and if you're looking for Android 18, you'll be added to the Full Power Battle Shop when the next Full Power Battle comes out. So you can also take a look there and get a good idea of where to grab her from if you're someone who doesn't have her at seven stars or seven or seven red stars i should say outside of that that's basically it um for those of you who know how to do a hyperdimensional co-op of course um yeah you should be pretty much up to speed with what to do uh, if you have never done hyperdimensional co-op uh, i'll just run through some tips and tricks uh, for you guys so that you know what's what's plotting so how hyperdimensional co-op works is you want to essentially um, remove the boss's shield and then do a dual rising rush with your ally. If you remove the boss's shield, you'll be able to do big damage. Don't do the rising rush while the boss's blue shield is up. Um, that's pretty much it. In between that, there's a couple things you can do. So if your ally is being attacked, I have an exclamation mark above their head. Uh, you can intercept the attack for them and thus vanish out the way. This will also increase your boost gauge, which you can see on the right hand corner, which will increase your damage as well. Outside of that, uh, you also can do what's called clashes, which is when the opposition, as you can see there, does a strike or blast card same time as the boss, and we intercept them with a strike or blast card as well. This, generally speaking, allows us to do quite significant damage. There are also times where the boss will place your friend or ally in stasis and you're going to need to dodge to or vanish step in to knock them out. And that's that. Once you have the rising rush, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you hit it at the same time as your ally. It was a lot more difficult back in the day, but now with the animation cancelling, it's really quite straightforward. So you shouldn't have any problems there uh, and you should be good to go. Now, if you have the correct typings and the battle bonus, you will more than likely kill the boss or defeat the boss on the first Rising Rush that you do. If you don't have the correct typings and battle bonus characters, you'll probably need to do two. Um, we get very lucky here in that uh, my friend had the correct battle bonus characters uh, and obviously that enabled us to do enough damage. Uh, and we still had the battle bonus character, just not the right typing. Try and match both. Matching both makes a very big considerate difference and it's something I suggest you do. Outside of that, that's that. You can complete bonus missions throughout the event by doing certain damage and moves and this will essentially give you some more Z-Power for Piccolo. 
And that's it. You can farm it three times per day for the limited rewards of the Dragon Ball medals. Otherwise, you can just leave it and let it be. Um, that's really about it. See you next time. Bye.